Yes. At the top first on four, Valley Man, who's in college and working, has a very dark past. He's telling his story tonight in hopes of saving someone else from becoming hooked on heroin. Marco graduated in the top 5% of his class at San Benito High School a few years ago. I was always a, a very good student. I, I never really got in trouble much. His home life was good and he had high hopes for himself. But what most people didn't know was Marco, which is a name we've chosen to conceal his identity, was addicted to drugs. Middle school that I started experimenting with marijuana. After that it kind of just snowballed. Kept try, wanting to try different drugs and eventually before I even knew it, I, I, I was so dependent on them that I had to use them every day. What started as recreational use of drugs like marijuana and some prescription painkillers quickly moved to harder meds, cocaine and then heroin. In 18 years old and I uh, that's when the first time I tried shooting up. I first tried shooting up cocaine and then once uh, once I did that I moved on to shooting cocaine and heroin. Now 23, the San Benito man is able to speak about his experience as he undergoes treatment at the South Texas Treatment Center in Harlingen, a facility that specifically treats opiate dependency. As more people get caught up with the with the pain medication and, and they start getting addicted to that and then they can't get the pain medication either because they can't get the prescription anymore. They've tried to get the pills which are a little bit more expensive on the black market. So then they turn to heroin because it's a little bit cheaper to get. Uh, what, what was your aspiration now bro? What are you doing now? Michael Benitez is a program director at the facility that opened its doors in February. With heroin and other opiates seeping into neighborhoods in the Rio Grande Valley, this place was necessary to help save lives. We're starting to see the 16, the 18 year olds. We're getting a lot of young people referrals to the clinics. We don't just do methadone. There's also Suboxone, which is another medication, and that also blocks uh, the opiate addict from having withdrawal symptoms. Marco got help just in time and admits he has slipped. But his daily doses of meds to keep him away from the hard stuff are his lifeline now. And by telling his story now, he may have stopped someone else from following his once deadly path. Um, I don't know, I'd probably be homeless. I'd probably be living on the streets right now, panhandling for money. I've had friends that have died. I've had friends that are no longer with, with, with us or they're either in jail. Well, the clients are weaned off of the meds over several months and undergo counseling at the facility as well. Marco is in college and working here in the Valley right now. He says he's doing good and we do hope for the best for him. And we want to hear from you if you know anyone who has used heroin and has a story to tell about it because it's a very important topic tonight. Find me now at facebook.com slash action for news Marcy on Twitter at Marcy KGBT. Heroin is the focus of our latest town hall discussion. It's set for tomorrow and will be streamed live on valleycentral.com. We're going to take a look at the extreme dangers of this drug and we want you to join the conversation online.